Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Mola. I'm the president of Pennsylvania College of Art and Design here in Lancaster. We're thrilled that you could join us today to learn about an incredible opportunity that we are happy to share with any of our former students and students across the state of Pennsylvania called the Near Completed Grant. This is an opportunity for students to receive up to full tuition and additional support services to return and get their degree certificate or a credential. And PCAD is thrilled to be part of this incredible grant through the Department of Labor in the state of Pennsylvania. I would love to introduce my team and kick it off with Linda and Justin, who will share a little bit about the grant and the opportunities that we can share with you today. Good morning, my name is Justin Phillips. I'm the Assistant Dean of Academic Affairs at Pennsylvania College of Art and Design. Um, and uh, I well, first off, I'll, I'm going to share um, the flyer for this opportunity, and it has the criteria for the for the grant. So the, uh, to see if students are eligible to return. So um, do you all see the flyer here? So. Um, the Achieve Project is through the state of Pennsylvania is a is a grant that we work with in collaboration with the Workforce Development Board at Millersville University and Elizabethtown College. Um, so we're excited to be able to offer tuition and support resources to returning students and also students from all around the state of Pennsylvania that might be interested in applying to finish their credential here at the college. Um, so there are some uh, aspects of this grant that's important to keep in mind when you think about people that are eligible or could apply for this opportunity. It is a one-year scholarship um, and you have to be a Pennsylvania state resident. Uh, when you have to have left college after January 1st of 2021 without degree completion. So you have credits that are unfulfilled in, uh, in the institution that you're coming from or from here at PCAD. Uh, 2.0 GPA, upon leaving, and that you're um, willing to seek employment within 12 months of completion if you're currently unemployed. If you're employed, your current employment is not within your training interest area. So um, this uh, you know, opportunity is open to folks, but it's there. there's definitely some criteria here. You have to go onto the website, and I will share links uh, next when Linda and I talk about the website. Um, that we have our landing page for the information. Um, the, you'll, the student uh, will fill out an eligibility form through the state, uh, the, the, uh, the Workforce Development Board. And through that information, that gets shared with us. And then we work as an academic affairs team to, to meet with the student and to kind of advise them through their potential pathways to degree or credential completion. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing this. Um, and all this information is in the email that came from President Mola last Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and share our website now. And uh, Linda uh, will and I will talk about it. And Linda is a great chance for you to introduce yourself. So do you all see the website now? Okay, so this is our pcad.edu. Um, and then if you go on the website, pcad.edu, down here, there's a, a banner, is your degree on pause? And then you can click on that and it'll bring you to our near completer landing page with, that's chock full of information about our programs and, and reiterates the eligibility information that I just laid out in the previous flyer. So Linda, do you wanna introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, I have been working closely with Justin on helping students primarily with advising when we determine that they are eligible for the ACHIEVE grant. And my position here is the Dean of Faculty and Academic Affairs. So this is something that's been very exciting for some of our students who have been on a leave of absence or who withdrew um, and within the last several years. Uh, and and it's been really exciting to be able to sit down with them and to determine ways that they can either 
earn an undergraduate certificate. Uh, those that are available and are listed here on our website for this program and or potentially earn an Associates of Arts in Design Thinking within their major area. So as you, as you can see, there are cert undergraduate certificates listed here and they range in total credits from 10 and a half to 18 credits. And the key with this grant is that the program that the students sign on for needs to be completed by June 30th of 2024. And that's what is exciting and what makes this interesting for students who have not completed their college experience or their credential is that they don't necessarily have to continue on in the degree that they started. So they could potentially come in and finish a business and creative industry certificate, for instance. And that would give them a lot of really important skills if they were to own their own business or work freelance as an illustrator or a graphic designer or any number of different fields, a photographer, a videographer. So it's exciting because we can sit down with students that are eligible that reach out to us and really talk through all of their options to determine what it is that they could potentially complete by June 30th of 2024. Yeah, it, it is really exciting. And the thing that we we discovered really early is everybody's different. Like there's not one, this is certainly isn't cookie cutter and isn't the same. No, no one student's the same. They all have different uh interests, different levels of how far they got in their education, how close they are to degree completion. Um, so it's kind of, um, it's interesting for us working them through the process of, of re-enrolling and kind of, um, uh, you know, talking about their potential pathways and, and their interest in their studies. And it's been a really exciting process because of the enthusiasm that the applicants have and um, just the sense of gratitude and um, it's been very, um, you know, had some really kind of uh, really touching moments discussing this with the students uh, upon return, uh, you know, re-enrolling. And it's it's just been great. It's uh, so I think everybody in this space and, and you watching this video um, can can probably think of several people that you might even know, family, friends, neighbors that might not have completed a degree. So this really is a is a really unique opportunity and one that could really be a life changer for for some folks uh so um yeah i, I definitely want to reiterate what linda just said about the, the degree completion by june 30th of 2024 that's a really um important aspect of uh, the grant so um i'll show you what the see if you qualify you click on this and this just brings you to an eligibility questionnaire um, that you just fill out um, so I think that that might be it. Can anybody think of anything else they'd like to add? Justin, I would just like to add that this grant covers, and you can help me with some of the, the list of things that it could potentially cover, but I think yes. it's important for students to come back to understand that this can potentially cover travel costs. It can cover things like um, technology needs that somebody would need to be to be able to finish a certificate. Um, and some of the other things, Justin, that students may qualify for under this grant beyond just tuition would be what? Um, child care, uh, elder care, uh, travel. Uh, if they have student, uh, if you have, you know, textbooks or materials fees, we all of that we take care of through the through the grant. Um, if you need materials for your class or um, you know any number of things, the the real purpose of this is is that we all recognize, or the state of Pennsylvania recognizes through creating this grant, that there are obstacles that sometimes get in our way uh, at, for students um, to complete a degree. So, what are those barriers that are preventing students to completing a credential, and what are some ways that we can support them through? Uh, their program so they can persevere and persist and, and achieve their um, their credentials. So any kind of things you can ask us if, if there are things that uh, that are obstacles for you um, and we can see if it's covered in the grant. The other aspect is, is we have a really robust 
support program here at the college in terms of academics, studio mentoring, uh, mental health uh, services. Uh, we have a food uh, pantry if, if a student needs food and they're experiencing food insecurity that they have access to food. So we have a lot of support programming, a lot of support resources that um, that help you know students persist through this program.